next step task to configure azure virtual machine by using virtual machine extension so in this task we are going to first install a windows server web server role on the two azure virtual machine that we have deployed in the previous task using custom script virtual machine extension so for that we need a storage account so let's go ahead and uh, create a new storage account go to the storage account so we have an existing storage account that we have created in the previous task you can also create a new storage account if you want so i'm going to use the existing one and under data storage click container and create a new container enter the container name and public access level leave it to private and the container has been created open the script blob and click upload and select the file so if you have not downloaded the lab file you can go to the github and download this lab file so this is module 8 and choose the install IIS so this would install the web server click open and click upload okay next search for virtual machine and open the first vm vm0 and under setting section click on extension and add a new extension okay in the new resource blade look for custom script extension okay click on custom script extension and click create so in the install extension select the the partial script so this is the storage account that we had created select the scripts and select the .ps1 and select click ok next go back to the vm1 scroll down under automation click export template and in the export template blade click on deploy and under the custom template click edit template so in this template i'm going to add some additional line which would install the windows web server like we did in the previous vm I'm going to copy it and put it in the notepad first. So I'm going to paste the content underneath the resources line, which is on the line 20 just copy it and again copy everything 
and go back to the portal and paste it here click on save back on the custom template just review and create and click on create let's wait for the deployment to be complete okay the deployment is complete now let's go back to the virtual machine and test the web server open the vm1 under operations run command and select the run powershell script invoke web request http use basic version and click run okay so the command executed successfully so 10.80.0.4 is the private IP of the VM0. So we are able to successfully get the web page, the web server that I installed in VM0. And similarly, let's go to VM0 and test VM1 if that was a success. Run PowerShell script and put the ip of vm1 which is 0 0.5 and click run okay the script execution completed and we are able to get the web page hello world from vm1 okay in the next task we'll see how to configure scale compute and storage for azure virtual machine